There are renewed calls for action to be taken in the bypass of GT&T's network in the making of overseas calls. Acting Chief Financial Officer of GT&T, Sunita Jagan, said countless letters were written to the authorities for them to address the illegal bypass, which results in significant revenue loss for GT&T. But looking at the bad name that GT&T has got because of the bypass, I can tell you, and I mean this is something that I really would appreciate if you shared with the public, whenever they see a call coming on their phone that has a local telephone number, and it's actually someone from overseas calling them, they must know it's a bypass call. It's not GT&T. So don't blame GT&T for the quality of service that is happening on that call. Because Internet cafes have been buying cheap minutes for use with the phone company's special server to facilitate overseas calls. But they have been using other applications for the overseas calls. Jagan said revenue losses means that the government will not be collecting taxes on those earnings. She said there is little GTNT could do at the moment. It is a free for all. I mean, we have accepted that. And the revenue, the revenue loss is, is amazing. I mean, it's, probably, it's, it's not even something that is focused on anymore because of how low of a number that has become. But it's the principle that is really the aspect of it. And as I said, I mean, we, what can we do? It's not that we can take the law in our own hands. The bypass of GT&T's system has been a sore point for the company for years. And last year, the Internet Interest Holders Group, an umbrella group of Internet phone call providers, were vocal in objecting to what it calls GT&T's blocking of Internet calls. Ms. Jagan said the bypass of its system is not good for development. I have actually asked for them to do something to ensure that this, this bypass doesn't happen. But nothing has been done, and so we have, you know, had to operate in an environment where it is not conducive, quite frankly, to business development. But we've, we, you know, we, we've, we've kept faith with the Guyanese people, and we've continued to provide that service. Over the years, internet cafes, which offer cheap internet calls to the United States and the UK and around the Caribbean, have been springing up in just about every village in Guyana, and is used by many to be in regular contact with their loved ones. For Capital News, we're all calling.